many times I reflect on events that are happening around us on a daily basis. There are circumstances that impact our lives in one way or another. And so today as I recover from a lack of sleep from watching late night reporting on the events of Congress and, and issues surrounding our U.S. Capitol, I'm aware of the war on truth within our country. What is truth? Where do we get the truth that we so long to know? But I do remember hearing words about truth in Scripture. Don't you? I, mean, I think we can all agree that, that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. However, I wonder if it's enough right now. Because there are times when I don't think it is. I mean, I know in my heart that it is, but actions within the world tell a different story. Some of you have read, but I, I wrote on social media the other day about my feelings as I, as I watched the name of Jesus being paraded around during a protest which attacked a national monument of a building. The more I saw that image in, in my head, the more I questioned who the Jesus was which these people were proclaiming. I mean, was this the same Jesus that I know in my heart? The one who proclaimed release of the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, and liberty to the oppressed. Was this the same Jesus that we read about in Scripture who, who healed the sick, offered living water to the estranged woman at the well, or washed the feet of his followers? I'm still wrestling with this image, and I wonder if you are as well. Maybe we don't know Jesus that well after all. John wrote in his gospel these words of Jesus, Have I not been with you so long, and you still do not know me, Philip? No doubt, many of those marching and protesting who did not turn violent attend church and worship the triune God. Many have spent years growing up in the faith, learning from Sunday school, confirmation classes, and even baptized into the faith. Many read scripture on a regular basis, just like so many across this world. But if this is what it has led to, I wonder if there's a fault in our understanding or interpretation of God's message through Jesus Christ. Are we like Philip, thinking we know who Jesus is, but, but also thinking that there is more to him, wanting to see the Father? I wonder if Jesus would have been pleased to see advertisement for his, for his brand waving over a country's building as it was being under siege. Would Jesus have wanted to be affiliated with this type of anger, violence, and unfortunately, unfortunately death? WWJD, what would Jesus do in this situation? It's a difficult question to discern. I mean, people can and, and have used Scripture to defend all kinds of actions. I mean, just look at our history with slavery. However, we need to be careful about how we interpret Scripture passages and the meanings behind the circumstances of the first century and earlier. We need to rely on the Holy Spirit's guidance. Many will proclaim that, that one political party or another is the party of Christianity. This simply is one of the biggest fallacies in our country. Frankly, believing this continues to pit us against each other as we think that one is right while the other is dead wrong. Brothers and sisters, this is not how it is to be with us. Both sides of the aisle have ideas which are based in Scripture. We need to find a way to work together to love each other and to lift each other up while the world around us tries to teach us the, the ways of the world, Jesus tells us, not so with you. Let us be an example from the, for the world of how to love and care for each other. Let us build each other up, eliminating ugly words from our vocabulary. Let us truly love across political lines, across social lines, and all other lines like race and gender and economic lines. We are not called 
to the church. We are called to be the church. We are called to love God and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Let this moment not define us, but spur us to action in love. From the Field Journal, January 7th, 2021.